Hi, my name is Max. Nice to meet you. And this is the series Meet Max. My next guest is Sherry Thrasher. Now, Sherry's been in the healthcare industry for over 30 years, 22 of those years as a revenue cycle leader. She's been involved with HFMA since the year 2000, over 19 years, and she now serves on the board of our Marketing and Communication Committee. She's constantly innovating and progressing our outreach. For her love of the healthcare industry, surrounding herself with beloved and unique friendships, and for the love of her job, and a self-proclaimed practical jokester, Sherry says she's never worked a day in her life. Meet Sherry. Georgia HFMA, I have been a member since 2000, so about 19 years. Wow. Yeah. And then, so what keeps you coming back? Probably the friendships that I have gained from coming back, those relationships, um, the fact that they pull you in and they want you to go to work and they put you to work and they get you involved in what's going on and they don't let you just sit as an outsider. The education's great. Um, by getting in HFMA, I've gotten to meet a lot of vendors that perhaps I wouldn't have known what their products were had I not come to an HFMA event. Yeah, it's easier when you come to HFMA sometimes to vet out the vendors than it is in the office because when you're in the office it's very busy, a lot of meetings going on, uh, conference calls, and sometimes when a vendor calls in they want 10 or 15 minutes of your time to kind of demonstrate what their product is over the phone and you don't always have the time to listen intently on what they have to say. So coming here allows you a few moments that you could sidebar, listen to what their product does or their service provides, and then you could kind of go back and anything that you want to hear more about later, they can send you an email or some kind of conversation to let you know a little bit more about what they are and what how they might fit your organization. So and being able to meet people that you can network with that do the same thing you do, but maybe in a different environment or a different situation. Sometimes, um, even though we're different size entities, we have similar situations and problems that we go through, and maybe one hospital might automate it one way or do one process that works better for them than another, and you get a lot of ideas from a lot of different people. So that's one of the biggest benefits from coming here is you get to lean on some of the ones that have been here for a long time, that have been more engaged, and they can share their knowledge with you. Yes, they are yeah. very willing to share it. and they're very, they're very nurturing. They want to bring you in. They want to share ideas with you. It's not a situation where you come to HFMA and no one will welcome you or approach you. They want to embrace you as family, as I've heard a lot of other you know, people say. They kind of bring you in under their wing and they will help you to get to whatever it is you're trying to achieve if you will just let them. Some of the new things that our innovation committee is doing is we're putting together like events in Atlanta where we do the ax throwing or the bury the ax. Uh, project. Um, we've had some situations where we've done bowling activities together and just different kind of a little events like that that bring us all together on again a neutral ground where we're not really there selling or buying from one another but we get to build that relationship and earn that person's trust and so then later on once we actually maybe are looking for a vendor then when, it might give us the opportunity to recall that person and what they do just conversationally and kind of pull it back up into our memory, I guess. HFMA does an amazing job of reaching out and doing a lot of community service. That is another beautiful piece of HFMA is how much they're always giving. There are constant service projects that are being organized for us to reach out and to help other people. and. There's not enough adjectives or great words that you can say about an organization that is constantly giving of not only their time, their money, and their selves, and they're also bringing their own family in to help support that mission also. So, wonderful organization as far as giving and community service. Uh, my name is Sherry Thrasher, and I'm with Floyd Medical Center, who is also a Georgia HFMA provider. I've been there for about five years now as their PFS director. Ooh, for fun, uh, spend time with my family because that's 
you know, the work-life balance thing. Spending time with my family is probably the most important thing to me. I have a 14-year-old son and I have a 21-year-old daughter and we have a little chihuahua named Charlie. So spending time with my family, my husband, um, we ride motorcycles from time to time. So just getting to spend that time with them is most important to me. It, now in my past, I have driven race boats and if it's got a wheels and a steering wheel, I've driven it. <laughs> they actually kid me about how many speeding tickets I've had. <laughs> and I kind of forewarn people when they get in the car, do you have your helmet? <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> oh, <that's funny. laughs>